I know a lot of people on YouTube had been saying, you know, if you want to get a monogram canvas piece, now is the time. They're discontinuing a lot of pieces and I'm, I'm honestly going to say the opposite. I think that, you know, there's a reason why they're getting rid of a lot of monogram canvas and that's the fact that they probably get too many after sales issues on it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you enjoy shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll super love it. If you watched my last video, I kind of went through how I sold off most of my Louis Vuitton collection. Part of me still wants to buy things from Louis Vuitton because I absolutely love the brand and some of you guys commented below that, you know, you find Louis Vuitton a lot easier to style in your everyday lives and that in fact you find Chanel not very realistic for your lifestyle and I totally know where you're coming from because I feel like with Chanel it can lend itself to look a little bit more glamorous and even dressy just depending on the style i still think there are some you know chanel bags which you can dress in a similar way to like a louis vuitton canvas bag my ponder cherry bag i find quite edgy and it is brown like louis vuitton canvas and i do wear this casually your backpack i find that really easy to style similar to like you know i used to have a palm springs mini and i would wear it in a similar fashion Chanel bags they are leather and with leather, some people argue that it's not as durable as canvas, but you know, I still find that I had myself a lot of issues with the canvas. And I'm gonna go through today whether we really feel like, or oh, I'd love to open up a discussion about it because like, I'm not even sure for myself whether Louis Vuitton canvas is even worth the price that it is anymore. For, from my experience with the handbags I've had, guys, I've probably owned like over a hundred handbags in the last four or five years. I had mainly issues with the, the canvas and I've never had issues with leather. You know, with the current rumors that Louis Vuitton is increasing their price of monogram canvas, I think a lot of us are kind of having that, you know, instant feeling of we need to stock up on monogram canvas now because it's going to get really expensive and a lot of us love the look of the brown monogram because it is so iconic and it is very collectible as well. I must say like collecting Louis Vuitton canvas is very addictive and it does have that casual kind of vibe to it. For myself, I actually found that I recently haven't been gravitating towards monogram canvas at all like you know i'm probably going to nip out to pick up some things at the shops after this and i'm wearing a pink t-shirt and the brown monogram canvas i don't think it really goes um to the supermarket i'm probably not going to wear a chanel bag i'm probably going to bring my mini my mini longchamp bag this is perfect for holding my cards and my keys and um i probably just have my phone in my pocket but I don't know, I feel like for supermarket bags, yeah, I get where you're coming from. You know, a Chanel is probably a little bit much, but even monogram canvas, I don't think it's the easiest to style. So for me, that was one of the reasons why I've been steering away from it. But what I found really interesting is that a lot of the newer Louis Vuitton bags that uh, come in monogram canvas and like Epi, they're actually the same price and I'm not sure why this is. So for example, with the Papillon trunk, this was a style that I really, really, really wanted to get. I actually went on the pre-order list for this and then I kind of chickened out last minute. Monogram version of the Papillon trunk and it's um, I'm going to say US prices because I feel like a lot of people who watch my channel are from US and it's kind of more of an understood currency even in Australia. Um, in terms of like what things are worth for some reason. So for the Papillon trunk, um, it's $2,630 for the plain monogram. It's actually the exact same price to get it in Epi leather, which I'm not sure why that is. Um, if someone can explain that to me, like, please let me know. I don't know why the canvas and the leather are being priced the same now. From what I remember, like many years ago at Louis Vuitton, if you wanted to get like a canvas bag they were the lower priced bags and the leather bags like you know the capucines and yeah I don't know well they still are really expensive but the the leather bags were a lot more expensive than the canvas bags but now I'm finding in some of the newer styles that they're bringing out they're making them not that much of a difference between leather and canvas or they're making them the exact same price and with the utility crossbody bag um this is like that little bum bag style 
to get it in canvas and to get it in leather it's the exact same price which i found really strange the padlock on strap both the leather version and the canvas version are both 1770 and that makes me think like why is louis vuitton wanting us to buy the leather and i have a little theory guys i think this is just a theory but i feel like they're having a lot more after sales cases and re returns and faulty items with the canvas honestly the amount of things i see and i know facebook is not real i know the internet is not real and a lot of things on the internet and facebook are honestly false i know with louis vuitton there's been lots of rumors that the quality has dramatically gone down and for myself i i with my own experience of the bags i've had um i would say that is true some of the newer bags i had like um my palm springs mini that it was quality issues with the canvas that it was peeling i had like a mini zip queen purse um which i'd only owned for a few months and the whole zipper like split and i didn't even overstuff it or anything it just I was using it one day and it just the it kind of just the, the the canvas just ripped I'm not sure even why I feel like it the zipper was sewn on incorrectly it's probably the most common defect we've heard is probably the pochette Matisse in canvas the cracking at the side can you imagine <laughs> how many returns Louis Vuitton have had from that cracking canvas it would have to be in the thousands guys the amount of like um exchanges they would have had to deal with and with that palm springs mini um and i'm sure there's many other cases where they've had issues with the peeling canvas cracking um and that sort of thing whereas a lot of people would say that the pochette matisse in leather actually has very little issues at all you know i would imagine that with many other bags the leather bags probably hold up a lot better over time and there's less complaints about them so i honestly think it's not even to do with um you know louis vuitton trying to you know just for some reason trying to push more expensive bags on us like the leather i think they probably want us to buy the leather bags because there's less quality issues with them and they they have less after sales cases with them because that takes up a lot of time having to find replacements and also they would lose a lot of money from having to you know give people credit vouchers and that sort of thing so my theory is that i think they are pushing a lot more leather bags because the quality of leather bags does kind of usually hold up better than the canvas and i found that for myself like even on some of my older louis vuitton canvas bag with my cherry speedy that was cracking if you rip canvas louis vuitton would not repair it or even a bag spa most likely won't repair it whereas if you kind of rip a leather bag a bag spa can actually patch that up and somewhat salvage that leather because uh the, i think it's just the the texture of it they can mend it whereas canvas you can't really fix it as easily so a lot of people would just say why don't you just get the leather version if they're the same price well the thing is i think a lot of people love louis vuitton because of the look of the monogram canvas and the really strong branding not to mention that louis vuitton you know are pretty much known for the canvas you know it's part of their heritage damier abine was actually the first print that they released in canvas and later on they introduced the monogram but what i've heard is that there were a lot of people trying to fake the Damier Abin like um, in the marketplace like in markets and stuff and they found that the um, Louis Vuitton logos were harder to fake I mean it's probably not relevant these days they're both very easy to fake there's lots of fakes out there but that's the initial reason why they introduced the monogram and I would say that the monogram is the the most popular style if for Louis Vuitton but at this point in 2021 I don't know if it's as relevant anymore i mean if you go on ebay there are hundreds of thousands of listings of monogram canvas it's almost hard to justify paying thousands of do dollars for monogram canvas at this point i mean it's not rare it's not um a super durable material at this point from what i found is like you know even on my posh um <laughs> my multi posh there's this weird wave puckering happening with my monogram canvas um this i don't even know how that is happening i 
I didn't buy it like that. It's just not aging that well. And this is a piece I've had for about oh, well, over six months, but under a year. And yeah, I just find that the monogram, like the canvas, it's, it's not consistent. The quality is a lot different to the, the vintage ones, I will say as well, because I have had older bags. And I honestly don't think it's worth the thousands of dollars that they're charging. And I would say in terms of like longevity, I, I, I honestly think that like the Epi versions of um, Louis Vuitton bags and you know, if it comes in on front, maybe go for that instead. I think it does last longer. Not only that guys, but I think monogram canvas, well for me, I find it not easy to style. I would much rather go for a plain leather version. I don't know guys, I just almost feel like um, Louis Vuitton canvas is not really worth it anymore. I will say though for the Speedy, I didn't see many leather options. Um, they did have the uh, Wild at Heart collection Speedy in leather and that one was quite expensive. It was, it is um, 3450 whereas the canvas Wild at Heart one, Wild at Heart version is 2350 so that's like an $1,000 difference. That is that is quite a significant difference. So some of these prices to me really don't make sense. But I think if you're faced between a leather and a canvas option and they're the same price, in terms of quality, I would just go for the leather one. I mean, isn't that the logical answer? Um, and a lot of you may disagree because you you love the look of the, the monogram. But I don't know. I think in, in terms of like longevity and over many, many years, I think the leather looks a little bit more easy to style and it probably ages better as well um, compared to the modern day canvas. Now, I, I know a lot of the vintage canvas probably holds up pretty well, but I just think that the quality of Louis Vuitton, maybe in the last three, four years for canvas, Maybe it's not as good as it used to be. And I would I would say go for the leather. Like, well, I'm not telling you to, but I that's what I, I plan to do. If I'm gonna go into Louis Vuitton again, I think honestly, at this point, I would try out the leather bags and give them a go because I've never tried the, the leather bags because I've always kind of sucked into the social media idea of, you know, monogram canvas is the only way, but I don't know if it is. And, I don't know, what are your, your guys' thoughts on this? I would love to know whether you guys think monogram canvas is really worth it anymore. And I know a lot of people on YouTube have been saying, you know, if you want to get a monogram canvas piece, now is the time. They're discontinuing a lot of pieces and, you know, this is the time to get it. But I'm, I'm honestly going to say the opposite. I think that, you know, there's a reason why they're getting rid of a lot of monogram canvas. And that's the fact that they probably get too many after sales issues on it anyway guys thanks for watching my video and i'll see you next time bye